Okay, I was just in the middle of filming an electrical video, an electrical panel, and I had a text message come in from Rose to stop by. She's having some sort of an issue. Let's see what it is. Hi, Rose. What do you want and what did you break? I didn't break anything. My refrigerator's broke. I've been banging for a long time. I gotta get a new one. It's delivered tomorrow. How long have you had it? Maybe 25, 30 years. <laughs> I think you've had it long enough. All right. Uh, I don't want to wait till last minute. So what are you doing now? Just pulling everything apart? I'm all these magnets Do you think you have enough of those magnets? Well. This reminds me of the people that drive around their cars with the bumper stickers all over the bumper. Covered. I don't like that. It looks so tacky. It is tacky. <laughs> this isn't tacky though. <laughs> well, at least they look good. These are my things. Where did this come from? I don't remember seeing that turtle. Oh, that came from the keys. How long ago? I, I never oh, saw it there. Years. Was it always on this side or a different side? No, it's always been there. Well, I must be blind. But you know something? This right here would be great. I was just looking for something to cast in maybe brass. And this shape, and I happen to like turtles, would be ideal for casting an object in brass. Oh, really? I'm going to take this with me. Is that all right? Uh, I'll get it back, right? Maybe in a couple of pieces. No, no, no. <laughs> Not in <laughs> I'm only kidding. No, my kids gave me that. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Okay. I'll bring it back in one piece. And it'll be what? It's going to be either solid brass or I'm going to make it in solid silver. Okay. All right. Okay, Rose, I'll help you with the refrigerator and I'm going to make a mold of this and I'll bring it back when I'm finished and then you'll see the video. In order to duplicate this turtle, you're going to need a cast iron mold. This size right here is ideal for smaller objects but they do sell these in larger sizes. You can see both sides of it. Just lift it up. And one side has pins, goes inside these holes. The sand that I'm going to be packing into this mold is Petrobond. It's an ultra fine sand that's going to give high detail when the object is poured. It's made from a mixture of sand and clay that's oil bonded. You need to position one half of the mold on a hard, perfectly flat surface. I don't want to do this directly on the floor because the sand is a little tacky. So I positioned a piece of paper between the mold and the floor. This position right here looks pretty good. I want to be able to pour into the head, fill up the entire body of the turtle, and have the liquid rise all the way up into each one of these legs. Now you're going to notice the head of the turtle is angled up. So when I pack the sand, I'm going to start very carefully. I'm just going to sprinkle it all around evenly, push it down by hand, keep the turtle from moving out of position. But what's going to happen when this is all finished, I'm going to have to use the tool you see right here and scrape away any of the sand that's going to be accumulating under the turtle's head. I need to be able to remove the turtle easily. And if there's sand under the head, it's going to be locked into the mold. When I remove the sand from under the head, I'm going to put the other mold on top of this one. And when I pack the sand on the bottom side of this turtle, it's going to fill in the area that was removed from this side of the mold. Besides using sand, I have this broomstick. I cut the handle. One end is perfectly flat and the other side is angled. The purpose of that is to be able to pack the sand down in the corners and very close to the edge of the cast iron mold. Right here's a look at that petro bond. So let me break it into pieces and sprinkle it all over the top of the turtle. All right, put a thin layer first. Try and lock that turtle in, keep it from moving. We go underneath the head. You want to pack this very good if you want good detail. Underneath the head. I do not want to push down on the head. I don't want to break it. Rose will have a heart attack. Just push it underneath the head. Now you want to go layer by layer. Just keep adding clay and you're going to pack it down. And because the grains are so fine, you're going to see a lot of detail in that turtle when it's finished. 
and I can get right in the corner now. See this? Push down, pack it really good. If you don't do a good job packing it, you're not going to have a good casting. Keep going. Now packing next to the head, go under it right there. Okay, let's go over it a few times. Okay, let's try this. This should finish it off. Using this dowel, I'm going to push down hard and roll it to pack this and flatten the surface. Just keep going all the way through. Okay guys, this side is finished. Right here is what it looks like when you flip it over. You can see how perfectly all those edges are filled in. And over here you can see the head is underneath that clay. So what I need to do is very carefully just clear away any of that sand mixture away from the head because I need to be sure that this piece can lift straight out. So let me do that and then we'll come right back. That's perfect. I'll cut the opening in a little while where the molten metal will pour in. Add a couple little openings at the top of each one of these legs. So if any air gets trapped, it can find its way out. Now before placing this half on top and packing sand on this side to give you the detail of the bottom of the turtle, what you need to do is take some cornstarch over here, good old inexpensive cornstarch, and you're going to take a screen like this, put the cornstarch in, and then you're going to sprinkle or dust the surface of this clay. The clay is a little bit tacky and the purpose of doing this is to prevent the next layer inside this half from sticking to this side of the clay. You want to be able to separate both halves of the mold very easily. So let me take this outside, give it a quick sprinkle, and bring it right back in. Right here you can see after I blew off all the excess cornstarch, it left behind just a little bit of a white haze. Now I can take the other half of the mold and place it on top. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing. Sprinkle the clay. Put one layer on top. There's the head. I want to make sure I pack that nice into the head area. And then we'll use the dowel like I did before. If you use it too soon, you can hit the dowel down and pull up and it will lift the clay off the surface. You don't want to do that. Push this down, work it really good. Both sides of the mold are now well packed. All I have to do is pop out the turtle, clear an area for the molten metal to flow into, and we're good to go. Now let's separate both halves. That looks beautiful. And over here is the opposite side. You can see where the sand clay mixture goes right up underneath the head of the turtle in the area that I cleaned out. All I have to do now is clean this area out right here, cut a channel from the head to the top, and from the top of each leg, both sides, towards the head, just a very thin groove to let any air escape that may be trapped when the pour is done.
Okay. Right here you can see it after it's been polished up. Looking really nice. Let me see the new refridge. Where is it? The truck was here. Yeah, I dropped it. Put Where? a big dent in it. Get out of here. Yeah. Just you, just your luck. Let me see. Yeah. I had to call the company and turned them in. I mean, what, how many guys were here? Only one. I asked him, I said, are you alone? He said, yeah, my partner's at another job. And... Now you gotta wait how long? Till Monday. Nice. Not happy. Yeah, you have good luck, I know you do. Yeah, I got the best of luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to tell you, I gotta give you a little bit more bad news. No, not today. Yeah, today. Let me sit down. Take wait. a deep breath, Rose. You can wait till tomorrow. <laughs> You remember the oh, turtle yeah. that you loaned me? Yeah. Oh, please. Oh, no. no. It wasn't nice. What did you do to it? When I was packing the sand into the mold, yeah. I didn't realize it had that little bit of a magnet on the bottom. So when I was packing, uh -oh. the four legs broke off in the neck. No, really? <laughs> I couldn't glue it back oh, on. <laughs> now, knowing how sentimental it was to you, I went out and replaced it with something just as good or better. Okay. And it relates to Florida with the Keys and the Everglades and all those wonderful things. So I just want to give you this, and this should make everything better. I had to look. <laughs> you reach in, don't look, just reach in. It's exactly what you want. <laughs> Why not? It's Florida, it's Everglades. And it's the key. Well, it's close enough. It's the oh keys. Oh my God. I don't want it. <laughs> I want my turtle. Oh. All right. I'm not going to play any more games with you. I know you're in bad shape today. That's not a turtle. I know, but it's close enough. It's Florida Everglades. All right. Your turtle survived. I was just kidding. Here it is. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> my buddy. You ready to see the finished product I made? You got it done already? Yeah, it's all done. I had other work to do, but here, tear that open and look at it. Oh, it's heavy. What do you expect? It's solid brass. Oh my God, look at that. It's the same shape. Yeah, it's identical. What's really- the eye. I know there's a little eye there, which is true on that there's side. There's one here. Right? And there's actually a slit where the mouth is, if you look at the bottom of it. <laughs> so what do you think of it? 
you got a buddy. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. That's heavy. That'd be a nice paperweight. That's probably what I ended up using it for. Is it on the desk or something? Flip it over and take a look at the other side. It's like a mirror. Oh my God. You can see yourself in it? Oh Jesus, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to see yourself in it. No, I don't in. want to see myself. <laughs> You can see yourself in the front. I know, I polished it up pretty good. Wow, it's beautiful, dog. All right, so I just wanted you to see the finished product, and now you know your turtle is safe. I'm glad you didn't mess them. It would have been the first time I've known you that you messed up something. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Say goodbye, Rose. Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye. <laughs>